Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Okay, so the second question, if you sell an FX call or put, are you required to pay interest? Uh, so that a question for your broker and, um, you know, the, 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 when you sell an option, you have, um, uh, margin requirements and, uh, th th this is one of those things we kind of, I, I, I would send you any, anytime I get a question about, well, what about margin requirements or, you know, the, uh, account specific questions, I, I always send you over to your broker because you can get a faster, more accurate answer from them. That's a lot more relevant. Uh, but as for our purposes here of just looking at a couple of examples, it, 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 in my experience, it, there, there, there isn't anything super material that I would be overly worried about. So, uh, uh, yeah. Do you mind if I just chime in? All You're right. right. I mean, uh, it all just depends on the margin requirements. But I think what he's trying to say is, you know, obviously when, he, when you trade in the spot market, if you carry positions overnight, you have interest factors. You're not going to have that. If you're short an option overnight, you're not paying any interest. That, op that interest is factored into the original trade, but as you said, there could be margin considerations being short an option. You should ask your broker uh, whether you're short an IBM option, a Google option, or uh, a CDD option. All, everything would, would be the same. It would just be the margin. Thanks, Steve. Uh, so great catch there, by the way. I didn't even think that. So if, if your question was about um, uh, w w was about the, that carrying charge that uh, that the the rollover that forex traders deal with. So when you're long a currency pair in the forex itself, uh, sometimes you get paid for that position. You get paid a little interest. But if you were on the other side of a, the transaction, you you would pay interest. So sometimes there are interest charges associated with a forex uh, trade, and th th it does not work like that in the options market. So yeah, I, I didn't even think about that. That you, that that what you might have been asking. So is there a certain time of day when option prices are better than otherwise? I I wouldn't say so. I, I hear a lot of people talking about um, you know t when's the best time to trade uh, option contracts and such. You know, I mean, I, I, I think lots of times the market is more active in the early morning, uh, depending on what you're trading and what day it is. Uh, but, um, you know, I, my personal opinion is that um, I never want to get in. I, I, I like to be able to kind of have time to think about my analysis. So, you know, I tend to make my trades just when it's convenient for me to make them, uh, rather than trying to time an arbitrary period during the day. So. In my opinion, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make any statistical difference as to when you make that trade. I think what's more important is are you getting the price that you planned on and does your analysis justify the position in the first place? So, you know, kind of match the price you're willing to pay with the analysis that you made. I don't, in my opinion, there isn't a, a better or worse time during the day to, to make the trade. Uh, obviously, just make the trade before the market closes. <laughs> okay, let, let, me, um, let me branch out here a little bit because you know, I, I've made some comparisons today with, uh, you know, trading covered calls in the equity market, which is where a lot of options traders get started. And that has an advantage. So selling puts or, you know, whether you prefer to sell puts or, sell, or, or do buy rights, you know, covered calls in the equity market, it's kind of personal preference, but it's a very similar trade uh, uh, from its profile. And... Um, the, the, one of the reasons why it's a productive strategy, I think, or, or has been historically anyway, is that uh, you know, the stock market has an overall propensity to trend up over long periods of time. Now, that hasn't been true lately, but, but you know, over the very long term, the stocks are kind of designed to grow and, uh, and appreciate in value. That is not true about currencies. In fact, you know, a, a falling dollar relative to other currencies is not necessarily a bad thing. It's not bearish in the sense that, it, that bearish equals bad. Uh, in, in fact, a, a falling dollar relative to the euro and the yen and such could be really good for uh, the United States. I mean, it could be something that simulates exports and, uh, and helps uh, importers overseas. So it could be a really good thing. And, and that same thing is true with other currencies. You know, a strengthening Canadian dollar could be problematic for them because they're an export-heavy 
uh, economy and uh, you know an appreciating Canadian dollar means their exports are relatively more expensive. So that could be a bad thing, even though their currency is appreciating in value. So what happens is, is that uh, currencies have a long-term propensity, if you will, to kind of channel. Now, they will trend, but, um, but not in the same sense that equities do, where equities are kind of designed to trend up. Uh, currencies aren't, aren't designed to do that. Uh, and, and so overall, they kind of, they'll have these longer, uh, shorter term trends up and down, which makes this a little bit more problematic because in the, in the equity market, we might just kind of automatically default to always selling covered calls, which is a fairly bullish trade uh, just by default. Whereas in the, in the currency market, you may be just as likely to, do, uh, to be selling puts as you are to be selling calls depending on the currency pair and how you feel about what's going on. And uh, so I find that there's a couple of ways to look at this. One way is, of course, from a fundamental perspective. So I know right now everybody, well, I, I guess I shouldn't generalize this, this much, but uh, I know a lot of traders and a lot of uh, folks who are financially interested are very bearish on the dollar in the long term. Well, so from a fundamental perspective, they're concerned about the, the inflationary effects of the stimulus plan and some of the monetary policy changes being taken on by the Fed and such. And so they, they, they have kind of this fundamental perspective that the dollar is likely to go down. So they, they're going to automatically be looking for trades that are in favor of that fundamental trend towards dollar weakness which uh, is, seems a reasonable point of view to me as well. But there are technical ways to uh, make that same kind of judgment. So l let me give you a for instance. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm, I'm actually going to take you to uh, my website. So I'm going to show you a tool that you can use that I found to be very useful. Uh, that we found it to be so useful we started publishing it on, us, on the site and we get a lot of good feedback about this. So if you don't see uh, my site, which you should be looking at is learningmarkets.com. Uh, if you don't see it, let me know. Okay, I'm going to click on. Uh, I'm sorry, Steve. Did everything no, look there. okay? It's, per it's perfectly clear. Okay. Yeah, learning markets. Okay, great. So right at the top here, we've got a tab called Forex. And um, so, and by the way, this isn't a pitch or anything. Uh, everything on here is free. You can just go. There's full courses. We have almost 900 videos on pretty much any investing subject you can think of. And uh, uh, the Forex tab, or the Forex section, where we just went is uh, just full of you know, everything you'd want to know about currency trading, including currency options. So we do talk a lot about currency options. You can see it over here on the left-hand side. We've got a, uh, several guides of several videos each in uh, you know, how do currency options work and why and uh, uh, how might you look at each individual uh, uh, currency pair. And then across the top here, we've got several flags that designate the major currency pairs. Most of these are matched by a uh, currency option available from the ISE. So you can see the Euro, the Pound, the Yen, the Franc, the uh, Canadian Dollar, Aussie, New Zealand Dollar, and then we've got a couple of crosses here, but you can ignore those for now. We're, I'm going to click on the, the flag for the Euro, and uh, it's going to take you, we have kind of this um, overall fundamental analysis of what's going on with the Euro, but I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit. In the middle of the page, there's a chart called the COT Sentiment Indicator. And the COT, um, sentiment indicator, all this is is a, it's a graphical representation of what's going on with the commitment of traders report that's uh, pulled, it's data that's pulled from the futures market. It looks at, you know, currencies are traded on the futures market, like the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. And um, it, so what this does is it looks at that information, it looks at the large speculators. So uh, lar big traders, institutional traders and such. And this little black line right there that's right now above, there's, there's a straight black line with no, nothing uh, breaking it up that is kind of a, uh, below it is, is negative or bearish and above it is bullish. And so that, that black line says that essentially what we're, what we're hearing from the Committee of Traders report is that overall large speculators, so big institutional investors, are net long the euro usd and the only reason why we're interested in this at all is that it helps us to create a uh trend it helps us to identify the trend thank you for participating in this week's session please join us again next week get trading ideas exchange rates webinars news and commentary visit www.fxoptions.com ISE FX options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.